I'm Elise Bowman. I'm the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT. I'm also the blue Pegasus wizard on Fairy Tale. And today I am with Charlie Campbell. Charlie Campbell, voice of Gran Torino and Fuji Tor in One Piece and uh, multiple other characters that you may have heard of or seen. Multiple other characters. He has also been an anime director, writer, script writer, music producer. My goodness, the list goes on, and we're going to cover some of those things. This is Anime Adventures, the show where I talk to anime folks. I mean, you kind of, anime actors, Fantastic. anime directors, everything. So stay tuned. to talk to you, Charlie. You we too. are here at the My Hero Con, so it's been all My Hero all weekend. It's been amazing. It has, yeah. hasn't it? What a it? great show. What a great know? show. Don't you just love yeah, the I show? Do, I do. You know. What's your favorite thing? I just love Gran Torino's character because yes. it's not far from, uh, you know, characters I like watching anyway. Oh, so, really? You know, yeah, so kind of the crusty guy that's uh, in charge of stuff, but he's he's got a good heart. And yes. What, by God, you're going to do what you're supposed to, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. He's just fun, and he's short and, you know, bounces <laughs> around and stuff. And I used to run the 200, so I could bounce laterally oh. short distances so I can kind of relate to it. Really? So when you <laughs> yeah, yeah. got to audition for that character, were you like, oh, this this is the one that I'm meant to play? I, I don't even know if I auditioned. I think they might oh. have just called me. Oh, okay. Well, you they know. probably, gosh. Because you, they knew my They know stuff. your work. I've done so many things with people that, you know. The, uh, the thing I audition most for is video games because oh, typically really? they want to hear the voice uh, with the actual lines from the characters, you know, mm -hmm. I guess. So yes. I do a lot of video game auditions. Oh, okay. Days. Well, it's nice. I mean, you've done so much work. It must be nice that they just go, we know what he can do. Yeah. We'll call him in, give him this great yeah, role. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. yeah. They're like, which voice do you want? <laughs> ah, that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, and my hero, I've talked to some other actors. It's so neat hearing the actor perspective mm. of why you think everyone connects with it so much why like what's your connection and why do you think people just love the show so much well everyone likes superheroes yes you know? and everybody <laughs> yes. likes uh, villains and it's got both it's got both <laughs> and they're uh, you know that. definable <laughs> which yes. is nice because is that a good guy or a bad guy that's true but, yeah yeah i mean it's it crosses so many different uh, boundaries from different uh, media mm -hmm. i think that uh, it's probably a wider audience, just inherently. Yeah, that's know? true. So. Now, have you been asked this? If you had a quirk, what quirk would it be in real life? Yes, I have. Oh, and, do you uh, have a, an answer for I that? I do. I okay, do. Okay, what's It'd your be answer? to get giant, like giant, like Galactus. You really? Know, huge, but I wouldn't want to wear the big purple hat because it's just too unwieldy looking. <laughs> and I'd want to be able to get small again in order to eat because I don't want to have to eat planets like oh. this. But, but it'd be cool to just get so gigantic. That's very practical. Get small, <laughs> yeah, right. have some dinner, and then get gigantic yeah, again. Yeah, it'd be very stretchy clothes, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, but, but yeah, I think But it can be, be done. Yeah, yeah be I was fine. just watching The Incredibles, and she made a stretchy costume. So, yeah, yeah it surely yeah. could be done for I mean, a giant. Back in the day, I met George Foreman. Oh. I, I was at a, a, a Oshman's, like... Really? ...place at a mall in Kingwood, Texas. And you met George and Foreman I'm walking, at Oshman's? There's almost no one there on a Tuesday morning it's during when I was in college. Uh -huh. and I see this guy at the back who's huge. And I'm like, and I look at him, and it's George Foreman. Uh -huh. And I go, hey, I know you. And he's walking <laughs> through and says, hey, how you doing? He waves at me. His hand looked like it could fit around my head. It was huge. Really? I mean, this guy, no wonder he was a boxer, but really nice guy. You know? How interesting. So I was like, like, big guy. So it's like, yay. Yeah. yeah. Bigger than him. <laughs> 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 uh, well, well, let's talk about, before we talk about all the other things that you have done, let's talk about some of your other, oh, oh, but first I want to hold up, you've got just some great friends. Some Torinos and some Grands. Yes, and then Shiny, we all like Shiny, that's really cool. You know, the funny thing is, uh, yes, my, my wife is from this. England and they call oh, really? their grandmothers Grands. <laughs> so, really? So I'm not a grandmother, but uh, <laughs> I am a Grand. Close. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> But what are some other characters that you've done that you always get asked about? Um, well, funnily enough, at this con, people keep saying, you're in Sonic the Hedgehog, the movie? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I was the owl, old man owl, you know? And I was like, 
I didn't know anyone saw it. <laughs> really? Well, I have one person who comments all the time who loves Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, so he will so, be so excited. So it wasn't the TV series yeah. or the like subsequent movies, but it was the, the Japanese OVA movie. And uh, it was the only one that ADV got at the time, but it was, we had a good time with it. And I was like, oh, well, there it went. But now people are like, oh, my God. <laughs> That's <laughs> so, the one you get asked it's about. That's, funny. It's yeah. fascinating. Yeah. Right, so right. he's done um, a lot of characters in Dragon Ball Z Kai and Dragon Ball Super, mm -hmm. but a lot of, like, one episode here and there. So here's your challenge. If you know what characters he has done, comment below. See if you can figure it out. And don't cheat. First, try to just comment. Then you can look at all the sites. There you go. Because <laughs> we know you've got the Google. <laughs> um, now, I, I think it's so interesting, your background, because you started mm -hmm. as a, an engineer in the anime world, yeah, right? right. And then transitioned to what, directing? Yeah, well, I was an engineer on uh, Evangelion way mm -hmm. back in the day. It was the first big show I can remember doing. And then uh, I've always done voices. I've been into music a lot, so I had this in my repertoire, I just hadn't used it in anime. And as I, as they had extra characters when I was engineering, they'd say, hey, you know, Charlie, go ahead and do these, you know. Oh. And so I'd do some incidental voices, get the whole process down. There we didn't do the beep system, we just placeholded it with the Japanese, and as you built an English version, the next guy played against that, you know, which oh, okay. was very uh, organic. Kind of really? Nice. Now, we haven't had a sound engineer on the show. Can you tell a little about that process for yeah, anime um, specifically? Yeah, it's uh, it can be very challenging because there are so, much, so many highs and lows in a performance. So mm -hmm. you've got to have some good gear, you know, and some good microphones. When I started, we actually had a microphone that was way too uh, sensitive. They actually used it, apparently used it in the, in the, the former Soviet Union to pick up earthquakes. Tremors were <laughs> so sensitive. Really? So every lip smack and every breath was just like, oh, i got to edit that out, you know? Oh, that's a lot of editing if you're yeah. editing out every little mouth noise. Right. You know, we, we worked through it and mm -hmm. uh, used Pro Tools and mm -hmm. uh, DigiDesign and everything. But it was just trying to get, at the time, you know, because you're not mixing, you're recording just the voice itself, and then it gets processed later for environments and whatnot. So you're just trying to get the cleanest, uh, best balanced sound you can, and then, you know, go in and, uh, uh, with anime, the big deal is getting it to match the mouth flaps. Mm -hmm. So you just move, this, move, move the uh, little files around until they match. Or as a director, some people are used to talking fast or slow, so you adjust the sentences so it sounds natural from whoever's saying it, and still matches the, the character. And the character of people, a big uh, uh, mistake people make that are doing scripts or whatnot is they try to write as long as they hear the Japanese person talk, which doesn't always match uh -huh. the mouth flaps. And then you're thinking more of it as a hand puppet, not every single movement as a word. It's like, hi, how are you doing? That's only three mouth flaps, but it's a lot more words. Yes. So to figure out, you know, per person how it works was really a lot of fun. It was like, uh, I call it acting in Morse code. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. dash. You know? <laughs> That's a good way yeah. to think of it. I haven't heard that explanation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just fun though. And then you've directed and you've also composed some music, is that right? Yeah, I used or to do music for uh, trailers. Oh, okay. And then I did, uh, me and uh, Paul Killam, who was, he was my mentor, uh, back to ADV, we did uh, the closing theme song for Gamera, Guardian of the Universe, closing credits for the English part. Oh. So we wrote, I wrote the words, you know, sang it, and he played guitar, I played guitar, and oh, wow. did it on tape and everything, and oh, it, goodness, that was so yes. much fun. You That's know? so fun. Yeah, now, good. do you have any, because, wow, I mean, you've done so many things. Do you have any fun stories? It's oh, getting loud over do there. Do I? Do I ever? Do um, you? Yeah, I mean, a couple of my favorites. Mm -hmm. um, we were recording Samurai X, the first one, oh, Trust, yeah. Trust and Betrayal, mm -hmm. and there's a wonderful actress named Samantha Hart, that people call her Sammy in Austin. Uh -huh. She also has an a, a animation studio there that does some really cool stuff. But uh, I didn't know her that well, but I'd used her in some stuff. Well, we had a, a scene where there were these uh, centurions chasing some people on horseback, beginning of the show, and one guy gets knocked down by a sword, and then a girl gets knocked off a horse with a sword. So I had two people in the booth, because it was a, a big enough booth, mm -hmm. and I uh, said, um, okay, you you do yours first, you yell, and then Sammy, you yell when your character gets hit, 
She said, do you really want me to yell? I said, yeah, yeah. She said, I'm pretty loud. I said, that's all right. I'm ready because I was engineering too, you know. Yeah. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, I used to engineer and direct and uh, wow. everything and save the money. <laughs> but anyway, so there's a whole crowd of people in the front of the studio just kind of listening. Mm -hmm. So show starts up. The guy gets hit. Ah! Then she, her character gets hit. And she lets out this blood-curdling horror movie. Like, <laughs> and everybody froze. They're like, you know. The guy in the booth with her went sheet white. <laughs> he looked like really? he was scared out of his mind. And he said, from now on, you're going to be our screaming person, you know. Oh, really? And then I also found out Elena Carrillo, who is my uh, writer, mm -hmm. she could she could do a different scream that was straight out of the worst horror movie you've ever seen. So she was my other scream really? stunt double. <laughs> so we'd use them sometimes. So it's truly you know? an art. Oh, like my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that was pretty good, though. Wow. <laughs> And, that's um, pretty good. Yeah. Uh, but Man, yeah, I bet you have some stories. One. That's fun. Yeah. When we were trying to figure out, because I think we've worked together, mm -hmm. but we couldn't figure out what it was. I think that you have directed me on something, probably when I just came in to do one episode probably, or something. So yeah. one day we'll figure out what that actually was. It'll Somewhere come to us there. when we're both at home and we're like, oh, that's, right. that's what it was. That happens so often. Yeah. Well, this has been so much fun. I bet you yeah. have way more stories that could go on oh, and yeah. on and yeah, on. I'll yes. be happy to do more. If you, if you we'll do more. a follow-up. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. And let's say bye in your character voice from my hero. Bye in your character voice. <laughs> Bye from Gran Torino. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching <laughs> Anime Adventures. Thanks for being here. Bye. High five. High five. <laughs> <laughs>